Josiah was turned king at the age of eight. His mother, Jedediah, was not who young Josiah had chosen to follow. No, no, no. Instead, he led his people in the ways of his father, David, turning not from the Lord. Yay, I am king! Cookies jar! In the 18th year of his reign, when he was 26, he told his secretary, Shapan, to tell the high priest, Hilkiah, to use the donations to fix up the temple. Hey you! Yeah you! Go to Hilkiah and tell him to use the donations to fix the temple. Very well. Hey Steve, Bob, I need the paper I gave you in the break room. Okay, no problem. And here you thanks, go. Thanks, Bob. Good luck with that speech. Yeah, man, thanks. It's with that we both got jobs with the History Channel. Okay. And action. <clears throat> Force. My boy, Siobhan. We were fixing the temple, and we found this book. Can you read it to me? Blah, blah, blah. Bad thing to Israel. Blah, blah. Disobeying Yahweh. Blah, blah, blah. Josiah was really mad. Then he did this. No! to the prophet to see if this is true. In the meantime, I will stand here with no clothes waiting. Yo, prophet, is this true? Yeah, bro. Oh, nuts. The prophet said that Yahweh will bring destruction on Judah because they have served idols and disobeyed me. Pretty sure this is a code red situation, boys. I will try to change this. Gather the people. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, King Josiah. Today, we are all here to renew the covenant. The Moses one? Yeah, that one. It's really important. Five minutes later. No more idols! Follow Yahweh! No Baal! Okay, so we're going to celebrate Passover. It will be the best Passover ever. No cap. Josiah was made king when he was eight years old. During the eighth year of his reign, he began to seek Yahweh, the God of David. During his twelfth year in power, he began to rid Judah of idol worship. He destroyed Asherah poles, idols, altars, and bones of their worshippers. In the 18th year of his reign, he wanted to fix up the temple. There's your thought. I found that book earlier. Yeah, this is very important. You should go read this to Josiah right now. Yes, Shapan, how's the temple? Very well. In fact, we even found this book. I'll read it to you. Reading noises. Oh! No! Go to the prophet to confirm if what I've heard is true. The following Thursday. It is true. Oh no! Well, call all the people together. We will <laughs> cover you. To celebrate the Passover, a lamb was slaughtered. Put the ark in the temple that Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, built, my boys. Don't even think about carrying that on your shoulders, fam. Nah, 
Go with your families and munch, munch, munch. My man's provided a total of 30,000 lambs and goats for the Passover offerings, and also 3,000 cattle, all from his own possessions. The Passover lambs were killed, and the priests splashed against the altar the blood handed to them, while the Levites skinned animals. Let us feast! So at that time, the entire service of the Lord was carried out for the celebration of the Passover, and the offering of burnt offerings on the altar of the Lord, as King Josiah had ordered. The Israelites who were present celebrated the Passover at that time, and observed the festival of unleavened bread for seven days. The Passover had not been observed like this in Israel since the days of the prophet Samuel. No other king has celebrated as me. As the sun set, Josiah gracefully looked over his kingdom, under Yahweh. It was at this moment nothing could go wrong.